No, it's pronounced Igor. So for the Patreon voting poll for this episode, the topic was horror comedies, which obviously is, if you know me and my work, is pretty much the very core of everything I do, is that yin-yang combination of humor and horror. I listed a lot of options for patrons to choose from, and not surprisingly, the one that got the most votes was the Mel Brooks Gene Wilder classic, Young Frankenstein. So talking about Young Frankenstein is a little frustrating for me, because honestly... There's nothing I can say about it. It's perfect. It's just one of the very best comedies of all time. Everyone involved with it was at the very top of their game and the height of their careers when they made it. People have been praising and loving this movie for decades now. There's really nothing you can criticize about it. Brooks and Wilder really knew their material inside and out when they made this. It's a loving homage, and it also pokes at the, the fun and the foibles of the series of Frankenstein films that came before it. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm really at a loss for where any praise I could give this film has been said by many, many other people over the years, and it's just, it's one of my favorites, and I'm sure it's a lot of people's favorites. The film has, unbelievably, not really dated in the least. This is a movie that's nearly 50 years old, and yet it still holds up perfectly. What's funny about it is still funny. People still discover it and love it and quote it all the damn time, and at this point, I'm sure there are probably more people today who have seen Young Frankenstein than those who have actually seen the James Whale original. Original. So, Young Frankenstein, it's, um, yeah, A++. I'm really at a loss for words for what to say about this one, so, well, you can just talk a little bit about, um, the character I'm drawing today is Igor, who is one of the highlights about the film. Everybody loves Igor. Marty Feldman was just funny as hell. I'm sure this is the role that defined his entire career. And, of course, Marty Feldman is a caricaturist dream come true, because he is so much fun to draw. You can exaggerate his features to a ridiculous ridiculously cartoony degree, and yet it's still recognizable as Marty Feldman. So I'm sure he knew that was his bread and butter was his unusual appearance. But more important than that was just the fact that he was also just a naturally very funny guy, brilliant writer, brilliant performer. And yeah, <laughs> there's nothing really more I can add to that to either. So um, Young Frankenstein, that's perfect. Uh, Marty Feldman did a perfect job. Uh, Mel Brooks, as I record this, is still alive and kicking, thank God, and, uh, yeah. Okay, done. Bukha!